Hey, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. So on today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working youthful layers into this mannequin. What are youthful layers, Paul, you might be asking. So when you have clients come into the salon and they are of a certain age, they're thinking, their friends are saying about uh, to them, saying, are you young enough to have your hair that length? Or things of that sort of nature. People tend to put things into people's heads that you're a bit too old to have long hair. And to be honest, age is just a number. If you have long hair and it suits you and it's working for you, like keep it. I don't think there's any reason why you should be cutting your hair short just because of your age. But when clients get this and they come into the salon, they're often wanting something a little bit fresher, something a little bit different, um, and maybe just to start contemplating having something different and going a little bit shorter. So you full layers on this mannequin. I've just cut in a one length haircut in the previous video, so you can check that out, link in the description down below. And I didn't dry it because it was just a one length. But when we come to this one, I'm going to dry it so you can see the layers and how they move and how they, they bounce and everything. And I'm going to keep it very simple. So this is my salon series. Series before this was like a ponytail series to, to start to help you understand where hair, when it's cut, where does it fall and how does it look. This is going to be how I would work in the salon when it comes to doing things efficiently, basically. A lot of hairdressers always ask me, how could I put in a layer quicker? I always seem to run behind in the salon. When I watch these online tutorials, there's always millions of sections. I haven't got time for that where I work. What would you do? So this is going to be a really nice way to be able to put in a layer that will give bounce, it will give volume, it will give shape, but it's not going to take you all day to do it. So where we're going to start is we're going to find the curvature of the head. And how we find the curvature of the head is we just pull the hair back off the client's face and we put our comb on the side of the head. You see where the head starts to move away from the comb. So about there, that is the parietal ridge or the curvature of the head. So that's where we're going to section. And it's going to be a bit like a horseshoe section around the head. We're just going to work this through and around that bevel of the head. Reason I love working with the curvature of the head is because when the hair falls, when it's just on it, you get that little bit of bounce because the head is is curving upwards or curving downwards. It's got a bend, but you just get you just get much more natural finish, and that's why I really like working with the with the curvature of the head. So we're going to just come through like so. I'm just going to do a rough guide on this section on this side. Sorry, put my comb just to see where that curvature of that head is. There we go. So, if you have a look, we've just got a really nice even section around the top of the head. Now, if you'd have a client, you would put the one length in prior or after, depending what you want to achieve. But I've put it in prior to this haircut. You can check the video, like I said, the previous video to this haircut because I'm gonna use that length as my guide. To keep things really simple, there's my section. I'm going to just clip out this underneath, like so. And if you wanna see what I get up to when I'm doing these lives as well, uh, not lives, these videos, I am live. So I'm gonna be going live every time I'm filming because you get to see behind the scenes, you get to see what I get up to and how I come up with it and, and make mistakes as well. Right. So there we go, there's our section. Curvature of the head, like so. Now, we want to just find that parting again. So the middle part, I don't know if I'm there. Hopefully I'm there, my head isn't straight. I think I'm bang on. It's like I'm a professional or something. Oh, I'm slightly off. There we go. Right, so we've clipped out the underneath, which means we can't actually pick that hair up. So we won't be taking any length away. We know we're gonna keep that length all the way around the haircut consistently because we have just put that haircut in, fresh haircut. Now this is gonna be our youthful layers. So where we want to start, I'm gonna start middle back and I'm just going to find that parting and I'm gonna come either side of the parting to create my first section like so. So just so you can see, I will show you this back section. So there is the curvature of the head that we sectioned out and that's all clipped out the way. So this part here is this top section that we're going to be cutting in the layers. Now we're just going to work around that head. And then so you can see the guide, 
we're going to pull out 45 degrees. There's the length from our one length haircut that we did. So we're just going to pull straight out, find that length, because that's going to be our guide. And we are going to point cut like that. And that gives us our first layer. Now what we want to do, it's going to be a moving guide. So we're going to work around the head and our guide is going to become our guide. Then we forget about that first one and our second one is our guide. So I'm taking that guide section and then I'm just working the next section around that around the head. So I'll show you. So my guide section is there. I've come from the top of it and it's basically like I'm going to sort of pivot around. But I'm not going to pivot really from that central point. Or am I? I might pivot. It's not right on the top. So when I come to here, I'll probably be working a little bit off. Um, but because I'm not working from the, the top of the head, but I'm just going to be working this layer all the way around, if that makes sense. Right. I find my guide length and my previous guide. And then we just cut that in. Now, that first section we took, we forget about it. We're going to be using that for this side. But then there's our new guide that we've just cut in, just there. So now I'm going to take another section. My guide is going to come over to that new section we've just taken. So I can see the guide there. And we're just going to point cut, working around the curvature of the head. This gives a really nice balanced layer. So that second section we cut, we forget about that. There's our new piece that we cut. We then take another piece. There's our guide. We push our guide up to our new bit, our new section. And then I find my guide, which is just there. And making sure that your section is like guitar strings. So when you're cutting, you want to be cutting where you section to there. You don't want to section like this and get that section looking really nice and clean and tight and then drop it down here and cut it. Reason four, when you're cutting hair and we're up here above 90 degrees, that's layer, 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 layer. Anything below 90 degrees is graduation. So when you are layering and, you, and then people drop it down here to cut, you've actually took it from layering to graduation. Just a top tip. Again, we're going to forget about that section there. Where there's our new section, which is our new guide. Find our guide, which is just there at my fingers like so. We take that new piece that we've cut, that's our guide. We then just work a moving guide around the head. She's square now. So we're still coming out 45 degrees as well. I can see my guide just there. I then take that piece we've just cut, that previous guide goes at the back, and then we grab a new section. Our guide is pushed into our new section. We find our guide, which is just there dropping out, right there new section, old guide, and then we're going to come to there and we're working around into the front because it will give us just a really nice bit of shape. There's the guide, just cleaning up any bits. We forget about that piece, there's that there. Here is this side, so push my guide up into there and then we take that off. So what I'm saying is when you get that really nice shape, We've got these pieces now that are shorter than the length and it just adds a really nice long layer to the haircut, which what, seven times out of 10 when people got long hair, that is all they want. They want something which is just a little bit sort of lived in, a little bit uh, just to take away a bit of weight, add a little bit of fun. So when they're curling it, when they're tonguing it, they can have just a little bit more bounce. Right, that's that side all done. We now come back to the middle and we find our previous guide, which is there. And then we take our next section and we just work around that head again. So I'm going to be pulling the guide into my new section now. There is my guide. This is my new section. Making sure that hair's nice, 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle there, and that you don't drop your fingers down because you'd be undoing your hard work. Let's start here now. So there's that piece I've just cut. Take a new section, and just so I can show you, we'll be working there. I can see my guide there. Take away the guide. There's our new guide. Working through this section here. 
finding that new guide, which is visible there, like that. Get our new guide, get rid of our old bit. Through there, there is my guide I can see. Get rid of that old bit, new bit. How simple is this? It's a very, very simple way to put long layers into hair just to give it some movement. And if you are concerned, I like to work a lot with younger stylists um, and showing them ways to really create these looks in the simplest way possible. And then once they've done it, they can really start to explore and find their feet to getting really, really creative. But cre being a creative hairdresser is really subjective because it's your own personal spin on a haircut or it's your own like you say somebody or somebody dresses really creatively it's like they're just putting their a spin on an outfit it's still like fabric it's still like jeans jacket t-shirt but they've added some jewelry they put some sunglasses on they might have a pink boot and a black boot creative same as anything in life you just put your spin on it make it creative there's our guide there we're then going to drop that down and then we're just going to bring a sliver of that side in just to make sure that we've got beautiful balance and my guides meet perfectly. There we go. So that is a youthful layer, a way to put in some bounce into longer hair. We get rid of these clips, just shake it out a little bit. And it's just a bit more shape in there like that. So that is a long layer. But look, you can see in the you can see in the video, you can see, and look at the balance. We've just worked around that parietal ridge because we've moved that guard all the way around. We've got a beautiful layer working all the way through. So I'm going to get this blow dried so you can see the result. Uh, so join me back in a minute to look at the finished result. Right, guys. So I'm just mid diffusing the hair. I was going to do a big blow dry, but I get a lot of comments on my channel about people want to see curly hair. So all I've used to make sure that the hair doesn't, it, well, where it stays where I want it to. I've used these no mark clips and I just pop them into the front through there. I'll show you once I've finished diffusing. I've used Joico's new Inner Joy uh, Detangler. This one's for Hydrate, is it? Yeah, Hydrate Detangler. It's just really nice for curls. So just spritzing that through. And I'm using medium heat, medium speed. Just wanting to encourage the curl. So while that's hot, I'm going to get the no mark clips again. And just on the front, I, I don't want the hair to fall into the eyes. So I just pop those into each corner. And then when we bring her up, you'll see why. So you see, it just keeps it out of the face while it's cooling down, allows it to cool down, but stay away and, and opens up the, the face, which is also a, a, a tip for, for youthful hair because if it suffocates, they maybe feel like they're, or people think that people are hiding in their hair. Keep it all lovely and open around their face. And just it's just a lot more youthful. But this mannequin was a straight mannequin, but as you can see, they've, they've got loads of texture in there. I just wanted to diffuse it to give you an idea of just what it would look like if it's curled. I do a lot of straight haircuts in the, in my on my channel, so I get a lot of people asking for curls. So, you can see we've got the length here and we've got these layers here. Long layers, but just adds a little bit of dimension to the hair, a little bit of movement. And once that root starts to dry a little bit more, that's where we'll start to get that lift and we start to get an overall really nice shape. So I'm just going to let this dry off and then we'll have a look at the finished result. So there we go. There we have it, guys. That is the finished result. You can see how much shape we've got through there just by doing that simple layering technique. And this is probably about 90% dry, so we've still got a little bit to go, but it will just keep on lifting and lifting and getting a bit more sort of shape in there. But how nice is it just to create this sort of, this silhouette, this layer, if it was straight, curly, waved, tonged, whatever you want to wear it, it's just a really nice layering technique. And like I showed you, I just use the no mark clips just to keep it out of the face while it's drying. These are a really handy tool just to have, just to keep it out of your face. If you're doing makeup or anything like that, um, or in salon, when you are creating this look, 
just put it there while the hair's hot. And then as it cools down, you've just got a little bit more sort of like direction with the hair. But we'll give it a little shake so you can see as it's just dry. And I don't want to like go crazy with this shake, but there's the shape that you get. Just really sexy texture and movement. There you go. So if you've enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up because it sends these videos further. So the next video is going to be another take on a layering technique with this mannequin. If you want to check out what we did before, check out below and be sure to check out all my other videos. Until next time, thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video. Hello, Sherry. How are you? Oh, my phone's there. I wanted to get a picture. <laughs> I'll use a still from the video. Here we go. Toshina, how are you? End recording.